It was a beautiful day at Waluk High School in Mattawa until gunfire broke the silence and a vehicle armed with bombs was detected in the school parking lot. You're A scenario of domestic violence related shooting and bombing attacks on innocent students and school staff was staged Tuesday at the high school. Grant County Sheriff's deputies, the Washington State Patrol and its interagency bomb squad, school district staff and administrators and even Big Bend Community College student actors staged the active shooter drill at the school. The drill was intended to be about as real as it gets without bloodshed or injury. The Washington State Patrol Bomb Squad rolled out its robot and x-ray gun to seek out and disable a vehicle armed with two handmade bombs. True to a drill, guns fired blanks and bombs were not armed. Volunteer victims included district staff, even Mattawa Police Chief John Turley. Observers from around the state and representatives of Grant County Fire Districts 8 and 5 participated. Waluk School Superintendent Aaron Chavez and his school principals were on hand for the drill. Grant County Sheriff's Deputy Joe Harris, the Waluk School District School Resource Officer, explained why the drill was necessary. The goal today is, is to, to test some of the security systems in place with the school district. And then aside from that, to test some of the policy and procedural issues with the staff. Um, everything from um, the initial de-escalation when, when the incident starts all the way through to transportation, reunification, um, and all of the other aspects that a lot of people don't realize come into play. Shelby Jensen, Waluk School District Safety and Security Coordinator, shared what she hoped was accomplished through the drill. I hope that we will be able to look at our procedures and be able to test our system, learn our gaps, and then be able to move forward in fixing and fine-tuning those gaps for overall student and staff safety. So I don't know that you can ever 100% be ready, and living in a rural area, our resources are so limited, and so staff is going to have to learn that they really are the first responders in this and may have to be able to stabilize the situation for maybe up to a half hour to 45 minutes. State Trooper Cliff Pratt, a bomb technician with the Washington State Patrol, talked about the bomb squad's training role and assistance in the Waluk active shooter drill. Uh, bomb squads and SWAT teams and uh, school personnel, administrative staff, we all try to now work together for these types of drills and, uh, and make it all uh, come off without a hitch if at all possible. The bomb squad trained a new bomb robot control operator inside the crew's truck. I'm Jeff Chu for I-Fiber One News. You got it. It's going to stay right.